super creative. We can print a pretty panoramic pic, but how are we supposed to post it? By getting super creative. I'm Rob Lyons, and this is Super Creative. Now to follow up the last video on how to shoot a panorama with the Mavic Mini, I thought we would post a panorama to Instagram. We're going to do it two ways. One is to do the seamless panorama, so a series of photos in one post. And we're also going to do three separate pictures so that it looks like a panorama in your gallery. So if someone comes by your profile, they take a look, they'll see the panorama there. I think it's kind of a fun thing. I've seen a lot of other people do it. Never done it myself and Instagram's getting pretty stale to be honest. So to do something new is kind of fun. So I thought I'd share that with you. Let's get cracking. We are gonna go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. All right, and I think we'll go with a new file. We're gonna do custom. You can see here, I already have all my numbers input. We're gonna use 3240 on the wide side. Now that's because it's three times 1080, we're gonna chop this panorama up into three pieces and this will give us square images, which work pretty well on Instagram. You can go with whatever dimensions suit your needs. Just remember to keep your width three times your height uh, to get three even size posts to make this work. 72 resolution is fine for most devices and screens. Um, RGB color, because that's what most people are gonna be looking at this on. And 16-bit, this is important. Now it normally defaults to 32-bit, but that's too much. It's, we're gonna have problems if we leave it there. So we're gonna drop it down to 16-bit and transparent background is fine. Let's go ahead and create the file. Great, there's our nice big wide panorama. Of course, we need an image to put in it, which I have prepared already. So let's just find that. Vancouver Panorama. Boom. Vancouver's beautiful city, beautiful skyline. Great, so we have our image in. Let's scale it up so that it fits the width. There we go, looks good. All right, let's chop this thing up. So we come down here to our slice tool. Select our slice tool come to our image, we're gonna right click, divide, slice. We're gonna divide this vertically into three. See how it makes it 1080? Perfect. Let's go ahead and click OK. All right. Now what we wanna do is go up to File, Export, Save for Web. This is the old way we used to save stuff for the internet. There's van one, selected, preset is unnamed. Let's just go JPEG high. Actually, let's go maximum, 100, perfect. Looks good. Two looks good, three looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit save. Now we're gonna hit HTML and images. This is gonna create a folder and put all three of our image in it, which is exactly what we want. Drop somewhere we can find it. Pictures, new folder. Van, pano, sliced. And we'll come up here, we'll call it van pano. And go ahead and save it. All right, now that we have our panorama exported, Let's head down to our pictures folder. Take a look here. Um, Van Pano, where are you? There you are. Images, and we have one, two, three. Panorama is ready to go. Now, for me, I'm on a Mac, so this is gonna be nice and easy. I'm gonna right click. 
I'm gonna hit share. We're gonna airdrop this over to our phone. All right, thanks to the sorcery of Apple, we now have our panorama on our phone. We're ready to post this on Instagram, get some likes, get a little dopamine drip going, huh? All right, let's do this. All right, let's go ahead and pop open the gram. We're gonna go ahead and post our images and it's important which order we do this in. So we're gonna wanna go with the far left image first. Middle image second, obviously, and the far right image third. This is so that they'll show up in order. Now, when we hop over into our preview, you'll see that they've shown up in the correct order and everything's gonna look the way we want when we post this series. Let's call it Pano. We're really excited, so we'll pop an exclamation point on this pano, and we'll post the pano, pop, 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 pop. And here we go, here's our pano. Let's take a look, and I think it looks pretty awesome. I think it's so cool that you can pan across the post like that, and it's super seamless, and it gives people a reason to stop at your post and check it out for a minute instead of just scrolling through the feed. All right, stoked on how that turned out. That's your series post. Now let's do the gallery panorama. So we're gonna post three individual images and it'll show up as a pano inside your gallery. So in this one, we're gonna do the opposite order. We wanna post the far right pano first and that's important that we do this order correctly. It's the reverse of what we did last time. So we start on the far right, then the middle, and then the far left. So let's go ahead and put a cheesy rhyming caption. Captions are important, my friends. So, you know, come up with something a little better than I did, I hope. And we'll pop that one in there. Now let's do our second image. All right, we'll just use the same cheesy ass caption and we'll call this one two out of three. And I'm only putting that so people know that it's probably a panorama or a series of posts. All right, let's get that posted up. And now let's do our third image. And there's only one left, so not a big mystery which one we're gonna post here. All right, third post going up. That's our far left image, if you didn't know. Third time's a charm on this caption here. You don't think I know that's a bad rhyme? I know it's a bad rhyme. If you have something better, post it for me below. All right, that's gonna do it. Let's head over to my gallery and see how it turned out. So there you have it, look at that. Perfect pano spread across three images. All right, so that's gonna do it for our easy peasy panorama post. And before we peace out, I just wanna remind you that we can be reactive or we can be creative. It all depends on how we choose to see. Peace.